Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Dylan. We are back here with another Madden video. Today, what I got for y'all is updating my best left end tier list in Madden 22 Ultimate Team. Now, before we do go on ahead and update this tier list, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I upload daily Madden content on the channel. Would love to hit 10K subscribers by the time Madden 23 does drop. And one more thing before we get into the video, gotta bring back the comment today. Today's winner is gonna be Cartier Carter right here. He said LT is that guy, and I completely agree. And we're gonna cover some people that happened to be that guy in this video as well so an overview of the last tier list um i really don't think anything needs to change besides one thing so jack youngblood got a team captain upgrade and for that reason i'm moving him back into the s tier uh stats wise what he is looking like now so first off he gets times three any single team kim so if you have a theme team potentially could go ahead and get him up to 93 speed uh, pretty good acceleration agility change direction is a little bit low but doesn't really matter for a defensive end good strength of uh, 96 finesse moves 94 power moves 90 block shed 97 impact blocking uh has every single pass rush trait and trait in general on yes besides spin move so yeah he fits my criteria to be s tier again this is my personal favorite team captain to go ahead and pick for any single theme team in the game maybe besides like cowboys that could use like a john lynch or a theme team that needs a safety and other than that i think we're fine i, I like everything else i think a tier is very very solid i think b tier again in a good spot all right now today in total we do go ahead have six new left ends the first one right here is going to be ultimate legend patrick kearney so i know a lot of people uh weren't excited when this card dropped but you can also get this card right here for free doing your ultimate legend solos and i'm gonna be honest with you this card for me would be s tier swear he's free he's 91 speed he has good strength, 90, 90 plus finesse moves, 90 plus power moves, 6'5", 272, uh, 90 block shed, 90 impact blocking, every single pass rush trait on, yes, and basically every single trait that is important besides the big hitter. Uh, I don't really think big hitter is that important for a defensive lineman, but he also gets edge threat elite for to ap which is very very valuable uh so yeah this 93 version would go ahead and be in the s tier for me as well but for the 99 he is insane if the 93 was going to be in the s tier for me the 99 is going to be in a completely different tier and we gotta go ahead remake the tier that we have done in previous videos but powered up 96 speed i believe that is two speed points faster than every single other defensive end uh or left end in the game my bad i think uh he's i think some right ends might be a little bit closer i'm thinking of like elroy hirsch but uh yeah great change of direction uh, acceleration even better strength 94 powered up 98 finesse moves 99 power moves uh great run defense across board 98 block shed 98 impact blocking and again same exact traits as the card we covered earlier his 93 version so yeah i think this card no doubt about it is deserving of the uh tier we've added in previous videos and that is the god tier there's going to be one other card that's joining him in this video but yeah i think he's amazing and i don't think anyone even the s tier is touching i mean i mean the closest one would be max crosby maybe ed too tall jones but i think patrick kearney is that guy now i know we started off with a bang so we're kind of gonna be let down for a little bit next card up right here we got a sean robinson so he's a 6 4 322 run stopper defensive end he's a defensive tackle and he would be rated completely different based on him being a defensive tackle but they gave him a right end card, so we got to rank him as a right end. Powered up 88 speed, which again, isn't that impressive for a left end. I think I said right end a little bit ago. My bad. I'm just a little bit stupid. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, 88 speed for a defense attack was actually really, really good. Uh, 95 strength as well. Thing that kills this card is that 70 finesse moves. Uh, has pretty good power moves. 93 powered up. Good block shed. Good impact blocking again. I would play this card defense and tackle. He also only has the bull rush trait on. Yes. So literally everything about this card is play me from the interior. He is way better playing from the interior compared to being like an edge rusher. So for me, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and put him. Uh, 
B or C? I think I'm going to lean towards the B tier. I think there are some other similar cards to him like this. I mean, Ogba and William Golston right here, who I believe do go ahead and have the, that lower finesse moves, but really high power moves. So I think B tier is a solid spot for him. Now, to be honest, this Alden Robinson card isn't really that great. I mean, he's kind of exactly like a Sean Robinson we just covered, just a lot lighter. So I would literally prefer A. Sean Robinson. So who I don't think they're brothers. I I don't know. But um powered up gonna be 88 speed. Again, I think that was the exact same as A. Sean Robinson. Not trying to confuse you, but hey, they both have the same exact last name. Uh, powered up 83 strength, not really great. Could go ahead, have potential to get torn up in the run game. Powered up 90 finesse moves is really good. 75 power moves is again where this card is lacking. Um, not great block shit either. Not good impact blocking. Uh, pass rush trait wise has bull rush on yes, swim move on yes, does not have the spin move or the big hitter trait on yes, which two things you would like to see. Uh, more specifically, the spin move on yes would help this card a lot. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think A. Sean Robinson is way better than this card. And for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the C tier. His run defense is just really, really lacking. And also uh, his power moves being low as well. Like at least with A. Sean, it was literally just his finesse moves that were low. With this Alden Robinson card, it's a lot. And right after him, we have uh, Deo O'Day. I don't know. I suck with names. I'm sorry, y'all. But this card is actually pretty, pretty good. 6'5", 276, 93 speed. I really like the Colts defensive ends and just their pass rushers in general for theme team purposes. But um, 98 Excel, great. 90 agility. Uh, 94 strength is again pretty solid 98 finesse moves basically perfect 89 power moves is where he loses me he would go ahead probably be in that s tier if he did hit 90 power moves run defensive wise has a 90 plus block shed 90 plus impact blocking things you'd love to see so really good solid run defender all the way around has every single trait on yes for pass rush uh, just doesn't have strips ball, which does go ahead and help some tackling. And uh, doesn't have the big hitter trait on yes either, which isn't in the world for defensive uh, uh, ends. So yeah, I think he is actually one of the better defensive ends in A tier. I think he might be the best. I think Brian Burns is up there. Um, I think Clowney is also up there. I think Bruce Smith is also up there as well. So I think there's a lot of great defensive ends in that A tier, but uh, I probably might lean uh, Deo for being the best. And then right after that, we got Levi on Wuzuriki right here. Um, all the way around, again, he's someone that just screams, play me at defensive tackle, 6'3", 290. I mean, honestly, he's not even a great defensive tackle either because of the fact that I like my defensive tackles, if I'm going to play one, uh, I, I want him to be like fat. I want him to be like 300 plus pounds. Uh, 290 is just a tad light, but powered up 83 speed, pretty solid. 89 strength, again, a tad low for what you would want him to do. 90 finesse moves is great. 83 power moves is okay. Um, run defensive wise, 89 block shed, 89 impact blocking. I would like to see that be at least 90. Uh, pass rush trait wise has every single one on yes, has high motor on yes, strips ball on no, big hitter on no. So I think this card, I think this card again, do I like him better than Alt Robinson? Yes. I'm going to put him by Sean Robinson. I think B tier. He's like, okay. He's like a fine budget option. He's not going to be that spectacular though. So I think again, like that B tier level is perfectly fine. And then we got Reggie White. Not only did they give Reggie White speed this year, they gave him something that makes him a god. I'm not going to lie to you. So 92 speed powered up. I know what you're thinking. Uh, there's a lot of people in S tier right now that is that are over that, right? Well, <clears throat> we're not going to play this card at defensive end. We're playing this card at defensive tackle. I think he's the best defensive tackle in the game. Uh, just given escape artists and everything, again, I wouldn't prefer to run him from the edge. Uh, if you're not playing escape artists, I guess you don't have to worry about that. But 99 strength powered up. He's 291. He has 99 impact blocking, 99 block shed, 99 power moves, 95 finesse moves powered up. I mean, insane, right? Also has every single pass rush trait on yes, has every single trait on yes, period, besides strip ball, which you would want that to be on yes, but again, it is fine. But the major thing, the major thing on him, gets double or nothing for one AP, which is 
like double or nothing can win you games like straight up it can win you games sometimes it goes stupid other times it just really doesn't do a lot but that being one ap is just probably the best value in the game i think it's up there I think it's up there for the best value, but yeah, I think Reggie White is deserving of being in this God tier. I like him way more than every single person in that S tier. And yeah, y'all, that has been my updated best left in tier list. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Also, if you want to see me play Madden live or join my uh, Discord community, make sure to check the links down below for one, the Discord link and to my Twitch channel. And of course, if you did like the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe. I appreciate y'all clicking onto this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Other than that though, man, has been your boy Dill and I'm out. Peace y'all.